हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई शेयर वीडियोस ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स एंड बीएससी एंड इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्ट देन माय चैनल इज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू हियर इन आई टैब यू कैन रिफर टू माई प्रीवियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वीडियोज वेर आई एक्सप्लेन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर फर्स्ट डिग्री इक्वेशन सी इन हायर ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट को एफिशियंट्स एंड द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल्स ऑफ सम टॉपिक्स टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल ऑफ ई रेज टू द पावर एक्स इन टू फंक्शन which can be cos or sin or x square plus x it could be any function how do we find its particular integral let's discuss that today let's consider this if we have any differential equation and are given a function like e raised to the power a x multiplied by v now let's see how to calculate its pi there's a simple rule for this take this fd and move it to the denominator then place e raised to the power a x outside wherever there is a d it's replaced by d plus a let's see an example here's what we will do suppose we have a differential equation given d square Plus one into y is equal to e to the power x into sine two x. So that's the equation we get. If you want to find the pi of this, which rule did I mention? E raised to the power x sine two x divided by d square plus one. Now wherever we have e raised to the power x, whenever e power x sine two x upon d square plus one appears, we take e raised to the power x outside. Then we get sine two x divided by wherever we have d, we will get whole square of d plus one and plus one. If we had 2x in this case, then we would substitute d with d plus 2 in the equation. Suppose we had minus 2x at this place. No need to worry. This plus changes to minus. This is the rule for this. And for the rest, we will find the particular integral using the same method like sine. This is the rule for this. Now let's look at this question. We are given d square minus 2d plus 1. Now let's see how we find the CF for this. Here we get m square minus 2m plus 1 equals 0. Hence, what will be the value of m that we obtain? The value of m will be one and one. Thus, we know the CF will be y is equal to c one plus c two x e to the power x. And then we find the particular integral of this. Thereafter, we get x square e to the power three x divided by. Then we will divide this in the next step. Thus, we know we will get d square minus two d and plus one. In this case, we will take e to the power three x outside, meaning we will take its particular integral. And in the denominator. wherever we have d we will replace it with d plus 3 here we have minus 2 and d plus 3 plus 1 and then we will simplify this there is another method possible here it could possibly be that x square e to the power 3x and we know this is whole square of d minus 1 here we will take e to the power 3x outside it is the same thing here we have x square and wherever we have d it becomes d plus 3 so we can also write it as plus 3 minus 1 and it's whole square so this is also a way you can do it as you like i am clearing this up we are applying the same method as before this is also an approach that you can use now let's see how do we continue here y is equal to e to the power 3x x square now this expression is simplified as this term is expanded d square plus 4d plus and substitute these expansions back into the original expression then we get 9 minus 6 so we'll get 3 plus 1 thus it's plus 4 here now we will proceed to find the pi of x square hence take this 4 out So we will have y equal to e to the power three x divided by four. So this will become one plus d square plus four d divided by, and here we get four. And then the inverse of it. Now we will expand it. And as I told you, here we have two formulas. First is the inverse of one plus x. It appears as one minus x plus x square minus x cube. And at this point we get right. And the another one is one minus x inverse. And these minus and minus are plus. Thus all the terms we get. are positive as we know this is minus and this is plus now we will get y is equal to e to the power 3x upon 4 it will be 1 minus d square plus 4d upon 4 plus because plus minus is alternate so we will get d square plus 4d upon 4 and whole square of it hence that's the term that we will get here with x square in the end now how many times can you differentiate this x square two times here the term up to d square is important the rest are not useful at this point we will get y is equal to e to the power 3x divided by 4 here take all the terms up to d square here it is 1 minus and here 4d by 4 and the minus sign will go inside cancelling them gives us minus d if we write this then minus d square by 4 and students the term for the square will be this as we need term up to here these terms will cancel out as they become 16d square upon 16 so d square will remain then we are left with plus d square And into x square. Let's simplify it. So e to the power three x upon four then one minus d, 
and in this expression we are left with 3d square by 4 into x square. Now multiply this x square. When we multiply e to the power 3x upon 4 with x square, its derivative will be 2x and its derivative will be 2. And if we cancel this, it becomes 3 by 2. Then the final answer will be cf plus pi. And this is how we solve this type of question. So let's look at the next question. So let's move on to the next question. Students, you can calculate its complementary function. I'm explaining its pi directly. So observe that y is equal to e to the power x cos x divided by d cube minus d square plus 3d plus 5. In this case, let's take e to the power x out. It will be cos x and wherever you find d, replace it with d plus 1. And its whole cube and this will be minus d plus. 1 square plus 3 d plus 1 and plus 5. So that will be the value of this. When we solve this, it will be a bit lengthy, but it will be solved. It's cos x and after solving it, we will get d cube and plus 3d square plus 3d and plus 1 minus d square minus 2d minus 1 and plus 3d plus 3 plus 5. So that's the value that we will be getting, right? Now y is equal to e to the power x and here we will obtain cos x and here we get d cube and 3d square minus d square gives us the value of 2d square here. Here we have 3d plus 3d making it 6d, then 2d is subtracted leaving us with 4d here in this expression. And after calculating these figures, we will be obtaining 8 at this place. Now that's the value that we will be getting. And next, whenever we calculate the pi of cos, then this d cube, I'll write this as d square multiplied by d, right? As you can observe, I write d cube as d square into d, right? So that it remains correct as we have y is equal to e to the power x. In the pi of cos x, replace d square with minus 1. If you haven't seen the pi of cos, check it on iTab. Since there is minus 1, it will become minus d. Therefore, it will become minus 2 plus 4d and plus 8. And in this expression, we will get y is equal to e to the power x. And then at this place, we'll get cos x and divided by this 4d minus d becomes 3d here. And further in this equation, we will be getting plus 6 here after solving 8 minus 2 here. We can simplify this by taking 3 common from here. So e to the power x divided by 3 and this will be cos x upon d plus 2. Let's multiply and divide the top and bottom by d minus 2 to further solve this expression. Whenever this occurs, we follow this method. Then y is equal to, it will be e to the power x and upon 3, then we get d minus 2 cos x. In the denominator, it is d square minus 4. Wherever we have d square, we will place minus 1. It will be e to the power x upon 3 and minus 1 minus 4 becomes minus 5 and the differentiation of cos x will be minus 2 cos x and we know that the derivative of cos x is minus sin x thus we get minus sin x minus 2 cos x upon minus 5 now take minus as common and cancel it so this will be e to the power x upon 15 and here we get sin x plus 2 cos x this is the answer and when you calculate final answer then add it cf with the pi and that will be your final answer Therefore, this is how we solve this type of question. In the next question, here I'm explaining three combinations as you can see here. How do we find the pi of this? There's no need to keep repeating how to find the cf. This is m square minus 2m plus 4. You need to find the value of m and then determine the cf. I'll directly tell you it's pi. You find the cf. We are finding the pi for this as I've already explained cf so you can check that on iTab. Here we'll focus on the pi. But in the exam, you must find both the cf and the pi. It's not just about finding the pi. I've already explained how to find the CF, so please check that. So e to the power x cos x divided by, it will be d square minus 2d plus 4 plus x upon d square minus 2d plus 4. That's what we get here in this expression. Pay attention here. Here a direct rule will apply. Wherever there is d, we place 2. When we put 2 here, so we are getting 4 and with this minus 4, it gets cancelled. Therefore, here we get e to the power 2x upon 4. Since these 4 and minus 4 are cancelled, in this equation, what we'll do is take out e to the power x. Here we will get cos x and replace d with d plus 1. Since it is 1 here, square and then minus 2 and this will be d plus 1. And it will be plus 4. And then simply take 1 by 4 common further in this expression here. If we take this as common factor, then we get 1 plus. It will be d square. And minus 2d upon 4 and further we will get inverse into x, right? Now further in this expression, we get y is equal to e to the power 2x upon 4 plus 
let's simplify this a bit therefore this will be cos x and d square and then from here we get the value 2d and 2d cancels out observe that it is 1 and it is 4 5 minus 2 is 3 i think this will be plus 3 as the value right this is the value we have for it we will expand this using binomial as i have explained that here this is plus and this is minus so plus minus becomes minus and we have the highest power of x as just one here only one term is useful and in that only d to the power of one is relevant and moreover this d square is also not relevant so we will have y equals to a to the power 2x upon 4n plus here we get e to the power x wherever we have d square we will put minus 1 so minus 1 plus 3 equals 2 so we will get here cos x upon minus 1 plus 3 which becomes 2 we will deal with it later now notice what is happening directly here we get 1 upon 4 and i think this minus and minus becomes plus this will be 1 plus 2d upon 4 so we get d by 2 in this expression and the rest of the term will be neglected so y will be equal to e to the power 2x upon 4 plus e to the power x cos x upon 2 and multiply x here in this particular expression then when we multiply this expression this will become d of x upon 2 and y will be equal to e to the power 2x upon 4 and plus e to the power x cos x upon 2 plus 1 by 4 and the differentiation of this is 1 by 2 right therefore here we will get the answer of this question and this is how we solve this clear so this question is for you in the comment box please give me the answer in the comment box d square plus 1 y x e power 2 x and there are four options which one is correct please let me know how much time you took to solve this question and also let me know whether you understood the concept thank you so much for watching like and share it and be sure to subscribe to the channel at last my differential equations 2.0 videos that i just uploaded the full playlist is shown here and the previous playlist of differential equations is available here this is my new channel which covers iit jam csir net and gate i explain many concepts so subscribe to my new channel and you can follow me on instagram so thank you so much for watching please answer to this question thank you